Beekeeping plays a major role in the provision of pollination services to the farming community. The latest research into entomovectoring using honeybees to disseminate fungus-fighting fungi shows definite benefits for fruit producers in their quest to provide the best fruit to their customers while also reducing costs and environmental impact. Entomovectoring is a revolutionary new approach which uses honeybees to deliver fungal control agents directly to the flowers and blossoms instead of traditional spraying. The technique has been dubbed Flying Doctors and research in Australia has been led by Dr Katja Hogendorn from the University of Adelaide. We're using bees to deliver biological control to flowers. Every day the grower sprinkles the spores of the biocontrol agent into a dispenser that is fitted in front of the hive. The bees then take the spores to the flowers. To check whether the bees deliver the spores, we pick flowers, wash the flowers and plate the wash on an agar plate. Then we wait for the fungus to grow and this is what we're expecting to see. We find that the bees deliver the spores just as well as spray delivery. But then of course, the bees deliver every day. Commercial beekeeper Daniel Laferve is from Ardrossan in South Australia's York Peninsula and has been involved in the entomovectoring project with the Adelaide University, supplying hives with fungal control agent dispensers to cherry orchards and strawberry farms. So this is a really exciting opportunity for our industry. Not only does it encourage growers to, to utilise the bees as pollination um, services, but allows us to value add our services by providing a additional service to the growers and providing some pest and disease control. So we bring the hives in either in the evening or the cooler parts of the day and we like to place them in a nice clear area, uh, preferably on a pallet we've been using, works really well, uh, stops the grass from growing up across the front of the dispenser but also makes it easy access for the growers to apply the powder. We bring the dispenser in, sit it on the front of the hive, use the elastic strap to go all the way around the hive back onto the dispenser and that holds the dispenser on nice and securely and tight. We then use tape, I prefer to use the black cloth gaffer tape, to then place all the way around the outside of the dispenser. It's really important to ensure that there's no holes or leaks where the bees can get in and out of because they'll use that access rather than through the dust bath uh, and defeats the purpose of, of what we're trying to achieve. So we place the tape nice and tight all the way around. I find if you tilt the hive on its back gently, you'll be able to gain easy access to the base of the trap and place a strip of tape there and, and push that in firmly. Tilt the hive back onto the, the flat uh, and job's done. The dispenser's fitted, uh, quick and easy. Uh, and then I, I tend to like to leave the tray out for a day just to allow those bees then to orientate and get used to flying in and out the front of the, the dispenser uh, and then place the tray in there uh, and allow them to get used to that for a day or so before placing the, the powder in. The strength of the hives that we've been using, we've been using a single brood box with about four to eight frames of bees and brood and I like to leave one or two frames of honey on them. It's important to ensure that the queen's inside healthy and laying actively to create that pollen demand. You know, honey is, is becoming uh, harder to get regularly this is a very good backup and with a looming threat of rowan mite on the horizon it's something that not only do the growers need to think about but as an industry we need to be prepared for. The research is, is fantastic, it's, it's been done elsewhere in the world so it's not high in the sky stuff, it's proven on ground work uh, and it's a matter of introducing it to Australia and there's already a huge interest amongst the growers uh, and it's just a matter of, of getting our beekeepers keen. We are halfway through an experiment to test the effect of dispensers on spores on hive health. Over a period of three weeks, we followed foraging activity and brood production in 30 hives, 10 hives per treatment. So far, we have not found any effect of dispensers or spores on foraging activity or on brood production. We're finding out more and more that fungicides can be bad for bees. Using flying doctors reduces or even eliminates the need to spray. This helps to safeguard hive health. Entomovectoring can work for crops that are attractive to bees and have diseases that enter the flower. The development of new biological control agents will allow bees to be used as flying doctors in crops such as apple, almond, nectarine and blueberry. If you want to know more about the opportunities for beekeepers offered by the flying doctors, there is more information on the internet. Thank you.